Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate you. So I have this page on my website that I think a lot of people would be interested in. It's for new construction homes, 400,000 or less. So homes that are priced under 400,000 or so should be on this page if they're listed on the Florida MLS, which is the Stella MLS for this particular list. And the Stella MLS takes up a large part of Central Florida. It's probably also the largest MLS in the state. And then I believe Miami is the second and then maybe Jacksonville is the third and then followed by like the Naples area or something like that. At least in my own research, that's what it um, uh, seems to be. But uh, the Stella MLS is absolutely enormous. So this page, as you can see at the top, says Florida Homes for Sale, Lando, Kissimmee, Tampa. That's just like the title of my website. Now underneath it, you can see I'm moving my mouse pointer on different locations. So for example, if we wanted to see homes that are located in Lake Alfred, we would click on Lake Alfred and wait for it to load. So what I have over here is I have a Lake Alfred communities list and there's two communities listed. Now if you were to go to one of the communities, let's just say we go to Eden Hills, we click on that. Now we would have the homes that are located for sale in Eden Hills. They're all right down here with a very nice list. Now I'm just going to click back to the Lake Alfred page and again with Lake Alfred, the town, these are all the homes that are listed for sale with the town. So that's just kind of the basics of my website. And on the right part of the um, screen, you'll see just like these interesting things like featured residential communities, uh, communities with pool homes, vacation homes, stuff like that. Some videos that I put up that I thought were important, some um, other information like contact info was over here, a quick property search. So let's get back to the, I'm going to go down. Actually, I'm going to go back to the home page. So going to the home page, you can click on this uh, little uh, logo thing at the top left. Or just click on the Florida Homes for Sale, Orlando, Kissimmee, Tampa. So this is actually the, um, the home page right here. Now over to the right... So you got featured vacation resorts, investment pool homes. So featured residential communities. Now moving to Orlando, new construction under 400,000. So we'll click on that. Now here, there's, there's just a little bit of info and the videos that are on this uh, particular page will probably change. I didn't really put them here for any particular reason, just to kind of have some videos. So there's a little bit of information. Now, when we get to over here, what I did was I included a list of some of the towns, not all the towns, but some of the towns that are actually included in this new construction house list. And again, just to go back up to the page, it's moving to Orlando, homes for sale, new construction homes under 400,000 slash townhouse. So homes, townhomes, condos, you know, they'll be here. So this section over here are some towns that I have a town page for that are also included in the list. So let's just say if we want to see homes in, let's go to Winter Garden. We go to Winter Garden, we click on it, and that's going to open up another page. Now this one is, is a big one. There's a lot of information over here about Winter Garden, about the town. I know I'm moving quickly through it because I just want to go down to the bottom just to give you another example. So over here we have a list of communities on this on this page so when you click on any of these communities it'll take you to the the communities page so there's a lot of communities like I said so let's just say if we wanted to go to the North Lake at Ovation we click on North Lake at Ovation and you see there's a video here North Lake at Ovation and then at the bottom is where the homes are listed okay we got this one has a pending sale right over here and this one is currently for rent so that's really all there is there's nothing currently uh, for sale that's listed on the MLS so 
So back to the Winter Garden page. Again, when you scroll down, now all the homes in Winter Garden, there's 427, are going to be listed here. Some new properties. This one's having an open house. Um, and you'll see things too, like here's an open house, uh, a new listing from two days ago. And then you'll even see like price drops on some of them. So open house, new. Um, it usually is set to sort by new properties first, which is right over here, refine and sort. But I'm going to go back to the moving to Orlando page just because I want to cover this one a little bit more. Now, um, if you're interested in homes and you don't want to be limited to the 400,000, you can go here for a complete list of new construction homes and you click on that and these are all from the Stella MLS. Okay, so Florida, Florida new homes for sale from the Stella MLS slash construction. Okay, so when you come over here, the first thing I have is a map. So you could see homes by using this map view and you might want to zoom the map back a bit and then you can see the different locations like what's where. Now again, any homes that are listed here are going to be from agents that are part of Stella MLS or builders that are going to list through the Stella MLS. So you can see we got some all the way down here in like the uh, Cape Coral area. Um, and there's a whole bunch. So when you click on a section, then it opens up more. So every time you click on one, like over here, it says Orlando, which says 20 homes. You click on that, and then it's going to open up more. And when you put your mouse over the, the property, it comes up. So you can see the properties are there. So that's pretty easy. And then, for example, if you want new construction homes in Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, St. Lucie counties, you click this and you're going to go to Miami. Okay, so I'm actually going to let that page load up. And if you, for example, you just wanted to know all of the homes with the Stella MLS, you go here where it says for used house resale and new Central Florida based. Go here, Florida homes resale and new. So you click on that. Actually, the other page, the Miami New Construction, now loaded. And you can see here with Miami, you know, there's less homes, but these are based on the uh, Miami coast over here. So these particular counties that are right here that I'm highlighting, Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, Martin, St. Lucie counties. So that's the bulk of them, right? Because this is really where that MLS is. It's, 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 it's right over here. Okay. Now, those agents also own homes or they're listing homes in other parts of Florida for people. So, for example, you can see down here in the Florida Keys. I'll zoom in a little bit more. You can see there's a couple, right? $5.2 million property right here. Um, over here, there's 15 homes. Key Largo area. All right, so you could see that. And let's let move the page down a little. So now we're back on this map. And you could see that actually it goes all the way up into, I'm going to zoom back a little bit more almost up towards like Ocala or maybe even into Ocala it looks like so like whatever this is might be I don't know if that's Ocala right there yeah because here's uh, the Ocala National Forest so I mean it goes all the way up so again you know there's going to be homes that are going to be scattered so you could check this out as well you know even if you're just like looking for a home more in the central area then you probably would want to focus on, you know, the other MLS. But I wouldn't, you know, ignore this page, you know, again for a new construction house. Now, if we go to um, Miami and we just want to see all the Miami listings, now did I did I load it? Let me see. Uh, Stella at Stella MLS, and this was Miami new construction, 
And what was this? I think this was Stella. That's Stella too. Let me close that because I got too many pages. That's my winter garden. I'm going to close that. North Lake at Elevation. Close that. And the Eden Hills page. I'm going to close that. Now we're a little more organized. So let's go to Miami. All of the homes. And you know, you'll see how many more there are now because now these are going to be the resales that are going to be mixed in with the, um, with the new homes. So now look at this map. It's just a complete cluster. Now we got 20,000. 986 homes found here. Now this list is going to start with a property value of around 100,000 because strangely these weird rentals where they're listed at like $15 for office properties and stuff like that. Like there's like 2,000 of them or something like that that are listed like that and I for the life of me I don't know why but um, in, in order to kind of keep those listings out of it that's what I had to do so just keep that in mind but now you can see that there's a lot more like even if we go down here to the keys here's a 1.2 mil here's a 1.25 million dollar property at the end over here um, you know there's just a lot of homes 1186 right over here uh, Miami move this page down a little bit more um, and then, of course, you know, as we go up, you know, up here, there's something. I don't even know what that is. I'd have to zoom the map in more. But, I mean, it goes all the way down, which I think this is like Pensacola over here, if I'm not mistaken. That's Pensacola. Yeah, that's Pensacola right here. So there's a piece of land in Pensacola, it looks like. And for some reason, there's something right up here which is in Georgia, and I don't understand why it's even showing up through the MLS, but it is. <laughs> so don't ask me, but it's there. Um, you know, there are glitches, there are mistakes, strange things I've, I've seen over the years. Uh, sometimes the agents just list things incorrectly. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted you to see that. Now let's get back to the next part of this list, the moving to Orlando, homes under 400,000. So what you can do here is you can, you can go to save search. You see where I am? My pointer is over to the left. You can go to save search and get new listing alerts. If you click on that, you can go to view selected filters. So there's some zip codes that I threw in up here. There's a hell of a lot more than that, but that's just showing some of them. Uh, property search, frequency of alerts all day, daily, weekly, whatever you want to do or don't send at all. Uh, typically, if you're setting an alert, you know, you're probably going to want to get notified when properties come in. And you can set the um, time uh, duration of the alerts, 30 days, all the way up to like two years. So after like two years, it'll stop sending them. And you could also opt out at any time as well. So probably the most simple search that you could do would be to sort by price, okay? So once you're on the sort by price, because usually the website is going to sort by the listing date first. So listing date, so that means the newest homes are going to show up first. But let's do sort by price because we want homes under 400,000. Maybe you want a home that's, you know, 250,000. So you do that, and it'll say price there. And then you just flip this arrow. Now, when you flip that arrow, you see now the cheapest uh, house here, which is probably a condo, um, which is 182,000, 183,000. And then if you flip the arrow down again, it's going to go to the most expensive at 401,000. So let's go back to the cheapest. So now that we're on the cheapest, you can see this was new, um, it was listed yesterday. What's great about this little box up here in the top left. So now you can see the open house. There's a quick showing of the times, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., okay? Just by pointing, just by putting your arrow over it. I was going to say just by pointing at it. <laughs> but just by pointing your arrow at it, you could see that. Now, as we go down this list, you can see there's, there's land over here, empty lots, pre-construction, which actually might have a house on it as well. It's just showing the land. I don't know, I'd have to look at the listing. But let's just say we wanted to look at the listing. Let's do that. Um, so what you have to do is you have to, so let's just say if we wanted to find out more information about this, what we would do is just click on this. 
Now I am logged in. The website is going to suggest for you to make an account. Your information is not going to go anywhere. The only one that's going to see your information is going to be me. I don't call anybody or bother anybody. That's just not my style. At the very least, you might get an email from me asking if you need any help. Anyway, you could save properties here and, and, and all that great stuff. But you could see that there's photos and this is showing you, I guess, the uh, house that's going to be put on the property. And then you come down here and there's just more information. There's my picture, my information, and there's all kinds of information about the, um, the property. And it's pretty easy to understand because it's like it's all right on the same page. You don't have to open up other boxes. You just scroll down and, you know, you could see all the important stuff. Does it have an HOA, which is right here, the Homeowners Association? Um, you know, all that great stuff. Year built, it's going to be built in 2023. You know, I guess keep your fingers crossed. And as you go down, even more, here's me, some of my social medias, whatever. And here you have a mortgage calculator. This is just an estimator. Um, this is not a substitute for getting an actual mortgage approval. You always want to start off your search with a mortgage approval. I can't stress that enough. And in my opinion, get at least two different mortgage approvals, meaning from two different mortgage companies. Because like what has happened to me in the past, every single time I go to purchase a house, there seems to always be one bank or mortgage lender that says, we can't lend you anything, which is you know bizarre <laughs> because I have purchased my third house now, but there's always one, okay? And then, of course, interest rates will be different and stuff like that. But, you know, you could get like like a rough estimate of, you know, how much your payment would be. And you could enter in, you know, your homeowner's insurance and your property tax and all that stuff. And, you know, it's a nice calculator. It's pretty comprehensive. Your interest rate you could put in, how many years. Um, a little bit of information about the property histories right here. So, you know, take a look at it try to look at my website on a um, computer. Now, there's a virtual tour thing over here, which might be a video or something that they put on. I'm not going to click on it. Um, it's probably, well, maybe I'll click on it. Let's see what happens. Now, I'm just curious. So, okay, so there, you could see that there's click for audio. That obnoxious... Uh, <laughs> short video type of music. Um, now you could do a printout over here if you click print flyer. So you can see you could print this page out and it's got all the pictures on the right which is really nice. So like basically if you wanted to print it out and you know we were working together and you wanted to bring this with you you could you know you could contact me and ask me to you know print it up I would do that as well. It also tells you over here how many days it's listed. So it's been listed on the site for 324 days since October 28th, 2022, okay? Now there's a um, button over here to contact me. That's really all it is. You know, you could send me an email, send me a text. If you don't hear from me through an email, uh, you know, try a text. If a text doesn't work or something, and you've tried both, then, you know, maybe call or something uh, if you want to, because sometimes emails or texts don't, don't work. Anyway, as I'm going down here, I'm going down this page for a reason. Ah, here we go. So price reduced by $5,000 four days ago. See, I'm over here at the 647 home, the Bayleaf Drive. So price reduced. All right, here's another one at 1026 Price reduced by $9,000 five days ago. So you get to see stuff like that very easily. It's right there. So I really appreciate this site for that feature. Okay, over here, price reduced $20,000 eight days ago. Now if you go to show more, now you see there's more homes that just popped up. So we went from $299, now we're in the 300s. Another one, price reduced by, oh, that's a good one, $9 12 days ago. Ah, oh, very good, Taylor Morrison Realty of Florida. I'm sure that $9 is going to have people flocking to it. <laughs> um, here's another house, $2,000. Here's another one reduced by $21,000 three days ago. Now, the reason why I'm pointing that out to you is because it's, it, you know, it's nice to see. And 
you know, it definitely it, it definitely helps because that's that's basically, you know, the builders kind of saying, you know, they want to get rid of the house. When they start dropping the price, it's time to sell the house. Sometimes they drop the, the price of the house before it's even built. So over here, again, is an open house coming up September 23rd. Now, again, I'm making this video in September. I think today's the 17th or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. So now the price is at 315000 We're going to click this show more here. So here's another one. Price reduced by 10000 So this is a new property from four days ago, new from 10 days ago. Anyway, you know, you kind of get the idea. It's pretty easy. But what's great about this page is that you could just come back here every single day if you want to or whenever you have free time and just look at it and see if something pops up that's going to fit your needs. And again, um, you know, these homes are, for example, a Point Siena. It says it right here. So this is Point Siena, Florida. Um, and as we go down, this is Kissimmee, Florida. Davenport, Florida. Um, just depends where they're building. Here's Davenport. You know, and it even says, it even gives you like some information about it. You know, who, who listed it is here. Now, of course, if you're interested in a house, please don't go running off and contacting the builder. Because when you do that, I might not be able to help you. And there's no charge to you. Builders include it. It's in their marketing plan. It's a separate budget. It doesn't affect the price of the house in any way. And some of the contracts even state that. You won't get less incentives or, or, or anything. So there's, there's no benefit of you um, heading off and going alone. I made that mistake years ago when I, I purchased the house, my first house. Um, I made that mistake. And uh, boy, was it a big one. And then my second house, I had a realtor that didn't have construction training. So I improved in the in in aspects that I was treated better with builders, but you know there was a huge gap when it came to that you know construction time and walkthroughs and looking at resales. Uh, so if I was you know gonna be um, uh, looking for a realtor, I would want somebody that's definitely has that definitely has construction training, and most of them don't. And there's no construction training with your licensing to to become a realtor either. So keep that in mind. Let's see if there's anything else I wanted to point out. Um, so let's go, let's see something else. Okay, so here's a house in Zellwood. This is an old one. Let's just click on this. I just want to go down to, okay, property details, property highlights. I want to go down to the, where is it? Yeah, the census data. You can go to census data when you click on that. You got this, okay? Schools, environment, um, quality of life, just kind of like interesting, um, interesting stats, facts, things that might help you a little bit. View schools. So this shows you the schools right here as well. Oops. Let's go. Let's see where are we? Close this. Um, and from here, you could save the property if you have an account. Now, down below, okay, so property history, property listed, the day of the last price change, nine days ago. So that's kind of interesting. So you know, there's some nice, um, there's some nice things, and I'm sure that I'm forgetting stuff. But I kind of just wanted to show you that so you had a better idea of uh, what this is like. So again, all you have to do is just go to the sort, go to price, and then go to the up and down arrow. So maybe, you know, you don't want to see homes at a 200, but your price is closer to 400. You, you'd rather a house that's more so 400,000. So that's what you would do. Now you would be going backwards, so it's going to count down. So you can see we're 400, 990. And as we go down, now we're at the 399s. So, you know, it's kind of good. It makes it easy. And um, this is kind of interesting. The house, they took a picture of the house with it in, um, 
the first floor cement block stage. And something else that's nice is you can save properties by just clicking on this heart over here. So you click on the heart and you go add to your favorites and you can even put in a note over here. Like, so let's just say if I look at this house and I'm like, well, it's not my ideal house because it's missing quite a few things on my list. Um, maybe I wanted three bathrooms. So I would say, you know, this is probably like a four star house for me. Then you go to save property. Now that property is saved and you see the heart is there. Okay. Now, of course, if you don't want the, the property anymore, you just do that to get rid of it. And over here you have your dashboard. So you come over here and, you know, say, you know what, I, I don't like this anymore um, and, and get rid of it. And again, you know, the notes are over here as well. So any property that you save, all the, uh, excuse me, should I say all the properties that you have saved, you know, they're all going to have, you know, your notes. So then you could kind of, you know, reference your notes and have a better understanding of it. And then off to the left here, there's some other things that you could do. There's listing alerts. Um, so let's see. So listing alerts, that's what we set before. If I make this larger, um, it's just a mess of zip codes and all kinds of stuff. So just different, different things. Um, these are some things that I saved in the past when I was just, you know, testing out my website. For example, um, a Providence community. Kissing me three four seven four seven, um, you know, just some things that I saved myself. So, you know, that's a really great feature. You could also come over here to save property as well, and the same thing. You know, again, the house has one extra bedroom that you, you know that you put there or whatever it might be. Um, and then, uh, lastly, the other nice thing would be any homes that you save. If you would like to work with me, and I would hope that you do, you just say to me, hey, Rich, I saved quite a few properties. These are the ones that I'm interested in, and then I could actually take a look at it as well. Um, I, don't, I don't look at what anybody's saving, though, because for me, it's just like a waste of time. I have a lot of people using the website. Um, so for me to like, you know, look at what they're saving, it just, I'm, I'm very picky about how I spend my time. <laughs> and that's just, you know, that's just the honest truth. Uh, I would rather be doing something uh, productive, even if I was watching TV, than looking at just what anonymous people that I don't even know are um, saving. So that's that. I do appreciate everyone stopping by and watching this. Thank you. I look forward to helping you with your purchase or sale. Have yourselves a great day. Prior to being a realtor, I purchased a house without a realtor and then with a realtor who had no construction training, no construction certification. And I can tell you that it's extremely important to have a realtor with construction certification. Here's how to get my service paid for by the builder free to you. Please contact me first before you contact any home builder. When you contact the home builder first, you may lose your paid for by the builder realtor representation. If you email them, call them, text them, go to the sales office, Walk the models, anything that they can match up at the time of contract, they may say you cannot use a realtor. Please don't contact the builder and ask what their policies are either because that would be your first contact. You see how this works? When I went to purchase my first house, I was given terrible advice. Everybody told me I had to pay for a realtor, which is just not true. I had no realtor and it was terrible. From start to finish, it was exhausting. I was treated poorly at sales offices and after I signed my contract, the salesperson basically vanished on me. It was just a terrible experience. When I purchased my second house, I knew I needed a realtor, so I started searching. I encountered top sellers who seemed impressive, but they were just high pressure sales. They were telling me to go to the builder, tell them I'm your realtor. When you pick out the house you want, contact me and I'll come down and help you. They would show me two homes, three homes, ask me which one do I want to buy. Many of them couldn't even respond properly to an email, which is much like when I help my buyers to find resale homes. Many of the realtors that are selling these homes, it's like they don't even read what you wrote. So my realtor ended up being a new realtor. He was loyal. He went with me to like 20 builders that I picked out. He wasn't selling me out to sales associates. He wasn't selling me out to other realtors. He wasn't selling me out to resale home sellers. He was no doubt on my side. So like most realtors, the realtor that I picked had no construction training, no certification. At the time, I didn't even consider it. 
as we went from house to house with new construction, with resales, there were times I had questions and he didn't know or he was kind of guessing and he would at least tell me he's just guessing. The information that I received was incorrect. I realized that home inspectors are there to look over a house and find issues with them. But let's face it, the home inspector is with you for two hours, three hours looking at the house that you're interested in buying. Your realtor is with you, if the realtor is a good realtor, for potentially six months, 12 months while a new construction house is being built. Your realtor is going to be the one that's going to be there with you when you're dealing with rude, obnoxious construction managers that are lying to you when the home is built incorrectly and they just want you to just go away. They want you to just sign, say the house is okay, or it's going to be passed off the warranty, and that's it. So having a realtor without construction background is not a good idea. And if I was going to be buying a house in another state, even though I have a home inspector's license and I am trained, I would still want to find a realtor that is construction trained because the more eyes, the better. Everybody's going to spot something different. I would even potentially hire two inspection companies or maybe more to look over a house. Just some quick tips. Just want you to understand that. I believe in a comprehensive realtor service where I could answer and guide and look at home inspection reports and have an understanding of what's going on and how to help my buyers best. Thanks for watching this. Back to the video. Mm -hmm.